I will demonstrate you how to measure attenuation coefficient um, using um, using least square attenuation approximation method for attenuation measurement. We will compare two traces. First one, extra trace from a AXS device, and second one is upper X trace from upper X device. Both traces was measured at the same, almost the same parameters. And I will show you how to how to compare them. So, in this box we will see attenuation coefficient. We w once we will change marker location, attenuation coefficient also changing. So, let's start it. Mm. You see, when we are moving marker, mm, attenuation coefficient changed very much. So now this value is not realistic because at this wavelength, 30, 10, this is too low. This value is too low. If we will change marker location, it will increase. And even small change of marker bring mm, very big change of attenuation coefficient. You see? Now it's very big deviation. So same same thing we will see at the upper X trace. At this marker location we see this value is too low, but if we will move marker a bit, we will see bigger value which can be realistic. So, what a conclusion? Uh, this is fiber is too short, approximately 125 meters. Uh, that is why attenuation coefficient cannot be measured precisely in these conditions and um, it's very much depend on exact marker location because s section is too is too short this is that's it <laughs>